All right, let me uh, move on to the next part. Is the if you can please come in here and and um, click on your control structure. We're going to actually create in another file with it. So click on 02 control structure. And you click on this file over here. It's this new file. We're going to like for you to add is the logical operator. The word logical, L O G I C A L, <coughs> and op. That's fine. And dot J S. So these are the um, uh, another set of operators I want to talk to you about. And I want to um, document some of the stuff that we're about to talk right now with it. <clears throat> we're going to deal with uh, some a, a set of logical operators that's very very important with it. Um, they're called logical operators, and they are. First one I want to talk to you. That this is what's called a not. All right. S second one is ampersand ampersand. This is an an. All right, and next one is if you look at your uh, your backslash uh, button, and it's on, it's you have to hit shift backslash. Unix we call that a pipe, and we do two of them. That's what's called an or. So um, these are logical operators with it, and these ors are these logical operators are very important as how you set this up uh, to be a boolean expression out of it. So. Uh, one of the things I want to I want to key in on is you know if it's true or false or things like this. So for example, if you if you say something along the line, um, if um, if expression if for um, and let's say this is true and a true will give you a true the outcome will be a true. If you do a true and a false, <coughs> that will give you a false. And if you do a false and a true, that will give you a false. And if you do a true and a false, This will give you a false. So these are what's called the um, table of truth. So I want to talk to you about with it. And the table of truth says that it takes both of them to make this a true. Any side that is a false, you get a false outcome with it. So keeping that in mind, so this is what's called the and. <clears throat> Let me tell you about the not, the, the or, uh, the or here. So the or only takes one side to be true. So if you do true and or, or I'm sorry, pipe pipe and a true. So this will be a true. It, it's a true outcome. If you do a true or a false, you get a true. It takes one side. It only takes one side. Okay. The other thing is you do a, a true and um, let me do this one. Let's do the first one as a false. We haven't done that one. <clears throat> and this is a true. And the outcome would be true. Last one is false or a false, which will give you a false. So um, this is pretty much it. If you have, think of these values are one of the expressions that you came up with. Uh, and if they are true or false with it, so for example, for example, if I said something along the line of four is less than five, and and uh, seven in a parenthesis seven is greater than five, so this is an expression of this side is true and the side is true, so the outcome will be a true. This entire outcome will, will be a true outcome with it. So that's how this is how uh, when you look at logical operators with it. However, I want to introduce to you with another concept is what's called a not in here. This is the not. If I put an explanation in, uh, in front of this expression right here, so if I did something like this in front of it, I did a not. So this would turn this into a true. Now it becomes a false because of this uh, explanation. So you have a false and a true you will get an outcome of a false. Okay. 
So all it takes is just one of them to be false with it. And the key thing is the outcome is going to be different with it. So as we go through this, I want to program some stuff with you so you can see what I'm talking about with it. Um, like I said, it's one of those things that you're going to see uh, ands and, and ors and not in here with it. So um, just to give you a, a few um, definitions with it. Uh, let me talk to you about a couple of other stuff I want to talk to you about is um, let's program something. Let me check the time on this. So let me give you a demo on what we're about to do. Is I want to um, I want I want to create that you know that last problem I didn't get a chance to talk to you about different as as a lot of you know what the grade scale is. So you, we're going to just create a grade scale. As we all know, what a grade scale looks like, right? So anything along the line with. Um, if you came in and, and if you earn a certain grade, for example, 90, um, uh, anything greater than 90 or equal to 90 to and above, that's equivalent to a letter grade A. Let me comment this out with it. And What's underneath 90 is what 80 to 89 is equivalent to a, that's going to be a B. This is going to be an A. So we're going to do, let's say 70 to 79, that's going to be a C. Anything from 60 uh, to the range is 50, uh, so 60 to 69, that's going to be a D. Anything less than <clears throat> less than fifty nine. Unfortunately, that's going to be an F. So I like for you to um, think about this. Uh, stop the 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 video right now. I want you to take a stab at this before I do with it, but. Uh, think about the grade value with this and how you would actually declare a grade value with this uh, with it. Let's, let's say you want to do bar. I mean, let, let's let's stop the video for me. Pause the video and I want you to take a shot at this uh, before I do. Pause video and write. Okay. okay, so let me comment this out so it doesn't get okay. hissed. <clears throat> Okay, so I hope you had a chance to um, to just make a stab at it and, and see how far you got along with it. Um, do something like this with me. First, we have to do a variable. Let's call this thing score. And we're just going to assign a hard code score right now. Let's say we do 85. All right, a value of 85 with it. you got to write some if conditions with it. So if the score, remember how the condition is, if it's greater than or equal to, what do we say the bracket is? We're going to do uh, 90, right? If it's greater equal to 90 with it, um, we're going to actually give it a block code. And we're going to say the C out, I'm um, not C out, um, um, console, all right, dot log. Uh, what are you going to say? Um, the grade is. Okay, come over here and do semicolon. And what happens if it's less than that? We have to write the range if, and you have to give it another condition for the same. Score <coughs> is greater than what? Greater than or equal to 80. And what happens if that's true? You're going to come down here and say the console. I'm just going to copy this. This is going to be a B with it. And then you're going to do another if statement or else with it, right? But wait, I've got the if else in here. So, all right, so that's the case with if 80, if the score I want you to put in is 85, 85, plug this in here, 85 is greater than or equal to 90, false, 
skips this block of code, tries this if statements in here, 85 is greater than or equal to 80, true. Then it's going to output this grade as a B. It stops right there. Now, if it doesn't work again with it, let's say it scores lower than 85 with it, you're going to actually have to um, do score is greater than or equal to 70. Console, let me paint, just paste that, change this into a C. And then we do another if else statement in there. The score is going to be greater than what, 60? Greater than or equal to 60. And then you do console. This is going to be a D. Right? And of course, the last condition is else. And if that's the case, if nothing fits in here with it, you're going to say what? C out, grade is a letter F with it. So, so I want to save this. Let me save this. Come over to my command line and myself, CLS. Let me run this first, making sure. Node, and the name of this is called logical operation, uh, op. So the grade is a B because I put in 85. What if I hard code this and gave this 55? Save. I save this. <coughs> Hit run it again. Of course, the F, letter F is fail, right? So just to give you a sense on how this works with it, um, I want you to get a sense on how the logical operators play a key role in this with this exercise with it as well. Thanks.